Hi guys, welcome to Savvy Money Show, me your host Sean. Well, I was blown away by the support yesterday and I will do my best to answer your questions and I will be looking at a short report and well not much of a short but why are they shorted which was one question and we'll be going a few few things with workhorse. horse now to start with the company and we will go over a couple of things where people said it was too noisy with background noise I apologize for that it was outside because I was in a rush to try and get you the information out and for some of you newer viewers I did a poll in the past asking whether you wanted me to spend time editing or whether you wanted me to get the information out as quick as possible and it came back overwhelming asking me to get the information out rather than waste a day a couple of days of editing now company who are shorting uh, called Lakewood and before we go into the short from Baza, we have to look at it as a company. The reviews are 2 out of 10 and look, they are saying criminal company. They only have two com uh, two customers. They just take your money and do nothing. And it's a whole host of reviews like that. Now, when you look at their performance in the, the biggest bull run ever because of a once in a hundred year event when the S&P has hit just under 20% they have only completed 6% when I've turned 4k into 40k and I'm just an idiot on the internet they have come up with a bad percentage. Most hedge funds managers underperform the S&P because of their fees. We remember Warren Buffett having a bet with any hedge fund manager and winning over that. Now, we have a um, look at two year and they have minus 0.65% now that is terrible we can look at that because it is uh, we can look at it that way because and then we don't take in our own uh, situation into account it kind of evens out they are underperforming other hedge fund managers let alone the S&P 500. Now, you wanted to know why they shorted the stock. Well, rumour came out that ARK Invest was selling workhorse and it dipped a bit. ARK Invest was rebalancing their books. They do it with Tesla. You don't see a sell-off in Tesla. And you've got to remember Ark Invest moved workers from the 20th in their, from nothing in their portfolio, all the way up to 14th position in their portfolio. And then they had to rebalance, as all fund managers do, by selling off not even 1%, it was 0.3%. And they haven't even bothered to put it in their email, informing people that they were selling off. It's only by checking their account so they think hold on look at it in their next email update they will be informing people they have sold some at the same time we have the election which causes volatility and what happens during volatility people sell out of their spec stocks you have some analysts calling it a tech bubble and what happens then? 
I mean, look at Microsoft. Had great earnings, and it went down. Apple, same. So, you know, Tesla is going flat because they have a lot of future earnings factored in. So they're going sideways or down. Look at Amazon. People think it's going to go hit 4,000 by the end of the year, but it keeps touching 3,400 and then going down between 3,000 and 3,200. Now, these companies aren't growing the, their share price, I mean. They're growing as companies, but they aren't growing uh, their share price because it's too much as factored in. So, what do we do? <laughs> we have to look at it as a spec. When with the likes of Amazon, Apple, Facebook, or Microsoft, you wouldn't expect a fair percent change with small caps or Chinese stocks. You would now you. When you have this volatility, and you are having share sell-offs, and you have thirty-five trillion dollars taken out of the market until after the election, because people are consolidating cash, when people realise that and are worried about another crash coming, then and they are holding cash, or some are even putting in the Bitcoin, who have called Bitcoin a scam before purely as a place to hold it, then you have a uh, situation where they go into blue chip stocks and they hold, they sell out of spec stocks. So these hedge funds like to short these companies beforehand. Why do they short them? So that they can be classed as geniuses when it goes down and they make a lot of money. They are forever shorting speculative stocks because they want them to go down. Remember the companies who were shorting Tesla and lost a lot of money. Now, it's not all about the money when they short it. You've got to remember, it's about the fact that when it hits a certain price point, they will sell their short position and make money from that as well they will then use that money to buy into the company because they think it will rise. And once again, they will class themselves as self-proclaimed geniuses. Now, you have to ask yourself why you got into Workhorse. Did you get in for the USPS contract or for future potential? I got in at $8 a share before the USPS contract was announced for the future potential and future potential isn't realized in the spec stock in three months now USPS contract was announced when there was six P the companies going for it and ARK Invest got in I've averaged up so now my average cost is $14 I sold at 30 and bought back in as I said, my average cost is about fourteen dollars. Between fourteen dollars and twenty. So I could make a profit selling, but I won't. Because as you see from my last video, I believe a portion of the contract will go to them and a portion will go to Ford. If you want to hedge your bet, pick up some Ford. I would have picked up some Oshkosh because I like them as a company better than Ford, but they are too highly priced in my opinion now Kathy Wood is not selling she hasn't sold one percent she's gained she's accumulated more than she has sold now is there a chance that we can't get it there is but it looks unlikely the more that we go on there is just good news coming out if you, as I said before, if you think we are going to get 
at least 22% of this contract, then it's worth buying. Purely because it means the share price, fair value of the share price, and I broke this down in a video before, will be $27, $28. When you look at the contract they got from UPS, the money they got on hand, and the money they would get from the USPS. The other thing is, it will then mean that they have delivered, uh, that they have dealt with the government and that will bring more contracts in. On top of that, you will, you have a huge short selling position on that, which may cause a short squeeze. And depends which way the market goes, you may get some people selling out thinking they wanted more, but that is with a 22% of the contract. I've gone through this before. Now, it also means that the interest rate on the 200 million drops from 4% to 2.7%. Now, I believe they will get more. If you look at the breadcrumbs in my previous videos from Romeo and the battery supplier and from the other suppliers, it seems like we would be on track to get more than 22%. That is the bare minimum we need for the interest rate. So I'm hoping for more than that. And if we get, do get it, now people are talking about what's the 800 million in the video I showed it from the congressman going to Lordstown Motors because Workhorse owns 10% of Lordstown Motors they get a contract then 800 million will go to Lordstown Motors they, they will need to use their plant some of what some people said they couldn't hear before was they didn't uh, was that the president of the s supplier of the shell of the truck didn't rule out uh, putting the truck together with, with the mould outside of their own production facility something like workhorse maybe but he couldn't give any more details could it be because of an nda this is pure speculation whereas if it was with a, a contract like Proterra, they would be shouting it from the hills romeo has admitted over a two billion dollar contract but they can't go into detail about it. again sounds like an nda However, uh, people were getting caught up and over the passenger BEV. As I said, the workhorse was originally classed as a passenger BEV. We now know it as a cargo BEV. Also, remember, if as autonomous makes gets closer and closer these vehicles will want to be utilized with autonomous driving but you will have competitors springing up but it will be no good having this autonomous driving in this unless you're using the drone as the delivery system as well but Workhorse is the only one that has the patent for autonomous uh, for the drone delivery system. So for another company such as Arrival to use a drone delivery system, if they wanted to use UAVS's drone, for instance, they would have to pay a lot of money to Workhorse in royalties. Now, otherwise, that they may as well just have a driver in there. Who's going to, if they 
have to put the drone outside your vehicle. No point paying for the autonomous system. Anyway, if you have any questions, if you want me to look up any particular stock, I'm considering going through some casino stocks if you want, but if you have any ones you think have priority, then don't forget to leave it in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to become part of the Seven Money Show family. We keep each other updated with hints and tips before I get a chance to put a video out. And don't forget to comment in the box below. I'll uh, try and reply to all of them. And it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember, stay safe, stay savvy, stay investing. It's all for now. Goodbye.